Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will go over how the great masters of the past drew with ink. By the way, at the end of this video I will announce the two winners of the mentorships that I will give away. Of course, there are many techniques the old masters used, but here we will see specifically how they did their strokes for shading. If we look at this self-portrait by Rembrandt, we can see how he shaded by following the volume of the face. It's like making the strokes as if you were drawing on the actual surface. With the strokes we can indicate the roundness or the flatness of the plane, as well as its inclination. And we can cross-hatch to darken further. But of course, you don't necessarily have to do that. For example, in this other drawing, also by Rembrandt, we see how he used a lot of straight lines, even to shade rounded surfaces. To practice doing this kind of drawing, we are going to copy this study of an arm by Renaissance Italian master Bartolomeo Passaro. I already copied the outline of the arm and of the muscles, and now I will just go over it with a dip pen and ink. Ok, good, let's begin shading. As we said earlier, we will try to follow the direction of the volume of the muscle. I will not try to copy the original drawing line by line identically, that's not the purpose. The purpose of this exercise that I recommend you doing is, yes, to copy the way he shaded it. Try to make the lines in the same direction overall, study and practice how he crossed the lines and where and to what effect in shades pretty much with the same technique. It can be really beneficial to copy some drawings from the great masters of the past and internalize those techniques. Learning that doesn't mean at all that now in the future you will draw with this style, but it does mean that you can integrate some of this knowledge and apply it in your own creation. Now I will switch to a brush, a fine brush, which I also dip into the ink and with this we can draw, making a slightly wider line, or a lot wider, depending how you use it. I see that the lines I made in my drawing are thinner and not as dark as the ones in the original drawing, so I will reinforce with the brush. First the dark shadow underneath the arm and then some of the dark areas, like this one on the wrist and by the fingers. Let's darken the forearm and also the triceps, the big deltoid and the biceps. The deltoid is the big round muscle up here. The list of materials that I am using is in the information below the video. I delineate some of the outline with a wider mark. I'm very interested to know whether you would like to go over other and different techniques from the old masters or not. Please do let me know in the comments. Let's reinforce some of the key lines, the last details and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to find our tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and now let's go over the winners of the mentorship from the Instagram Ruff. The first one is artist J. David, and the other one Laura Espinosa. Congratulations to both, I will be contacting them personally on Instagram. And I will see you all on Tuesday.